Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, sports fan Z. And I'm back with another Legend Bowl game. Today we're going to do just what I did the first time. It's going to be an exhibition game because I am still experimenting, playing around with the game, so and getting used to what I can do with it, and what more importantly, what I can do with it that I want to do with it because I don't want to actually control the players. And um, that seems to be what my main options are at the moment. So uh, we are going to go to exhibition mode. And I'm going to randomize the teams again. And I do have a controller. So um, we did the blues last time. We're not going to do the blues this time. Uh, you've got the Tennessee Kings here against the Kansas City Coyotes. Let me here. Let me move myself over for the moment so you can see these teams. The Baltimore Stars against the Houston Rough Riders. I'm trying to find an interesting matchup between this. Let's see. This is a good one. Miami Sharks against the Buffalo Steel. And we will go with that one. They are loading the game, and the game in this mode, we know that the, in this mode, the game will play for me, which is what I want, and then we're just going to watch, we're going to sit back, we're going to watch the sights and sounds, I'll give you my impression of what's going on, um, the best I can. You've got the steel. Five-minute quarters, and kickoff, and they return Buffalo to the turn. Not quite to the turn, but more like the 17. It's going to be first and 10 for Buffalo, and their own 17. And that was an overthrow. He overthrew the running back. Second down. Okay. Second down. Again, I am not I am not controlling either team. We are just watching the game. Oh, yeah. back, back and he throws an incomplete pass. So is Buffalo off and it's terrible. Buffalo goes to the line. I'll be encouraged when I see them actually. Keep that clock Let's go. And it is complete. First down. So we know that I'm not really controlling my team. Hey, hey, hey! Keep that clock Buffalo's quarterback is back. He passes again, and it's complete because the uh, defensive back overran the play. And now it's going to be Buffalo has a first down in uh, Pierce, in the Miami territory. Hey, we got a man down. We got Injury, a man down. though. Hammond, the right tackle. He's injured on that play. So they're going to cart him off. Back to the line. Back to pass, buddy. Misses his receiver. So it's going to be second and ten for Buffalo. Buffalo quarterback overthrows everything and 
And so now Buffalo has a fourth down and 13. And I expect to see that punt on that. And they charge. Four eleven left in the first quarter. Miami with the ball now at their own And uh, they do a running play that goes no And Miami comes up to the line. Miami Sharks, the vaunted Miami Sharks against the Buffalo Steel here. Buffalo Steel in red. Miami Sharks in white. In a snowy day in Buffalo, which you get even in July. Fourth 
Ready to go into Buffalo territory. Patton takes a snap and drops back, and it's an interception. Buffalo comes up with a key defensive interception. Neither offense can really get on track, but the defense is playing great. So, anyway, Buffalo now has the ball on the Buffalo. And that's a complete pass to Mendez. So Jose Allison completes the pass to Mendez. And we are just about winding down. First quarter, and he passes it over the middle, and it's incomplete. So, third and four on the right. Buffalo 49. They're trying to get things in the end. They flip it back to Price. Don't do that! Well, Price did not get the first down and didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Price is having a tough day, frankly. I think we need to stop handing the ball off. Price is certainly stop flipping it in the back. So that's the end of the first quarter. We're going into the second quarter in a scoreless tie between the Miami Sharks and the Buffalo Steelers. And Buffalo punts the ball, and that looks like it's going to be a punt. So Miami will come out. They'll have the ball in the 20 for the first and 10. Let me see. So they handed off to Duffy, but it looks like he didn't get much. He didn't get lost. 
So it is second and eleven. Patton is back to pass over the middle, but he misses his receiver. And it's incomplete. And now they have a third and nineteen. Or third and eleven third and eleven on the one on their own. It's back to pass and it's incomplete. And now Miami is gonna have a punt. This is just uh, this is just like a tennis match. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but nobody can score. Miami is going to punt with Knight. And uh, Stevenson gets the, uh, the punt for Buffalo. And he's getting a lot of yards because he's one of the Miami players running around right here. So he's got, he's got the ball out to the 39. No to 40 yards. Got it out to the field. I cannot read the yard. So uh, 4.25 left in the half. First and 10. And Allison back to pass and he hits the break. It's Briggs with a pass, and it's going to be second and five. Second and five for the steal. The Buffalo so steal. The Vaunted. Play smart, play smart. Allison calls out the signals. And he takes the snap, and they give it to Price again. you got to stop giving it to Price. He doesn't know what he's doing. All right, well, here he goes. Looks like he got the first down. He did pick six yards for the first. So, uh, Price finally broke out, out for some positive yards from the back. And they, they flip back to Price, and again, he fails to get there. Second and 11 on the Miami 31. This is probably not Jimmy Fields. It's incomplete. I don't know even who he's passing to. But now, and this is a definite passing down here. Third and 11 on the Miami 31. Yeah, with 3.42 left in the half. He drops back. Allison drops back and he hits Stevens. Stevenson is coming all the way down to the end of the first down. And so that brings up fourth down. Let's see what Buffalo decides to do. Are they going to try to kick the field goal? They are going to try to kick the field goal. I think this is an ill-advised idea. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It is good. And he kept it just inside the bar. Kept it just inside the upright. And Buffalo gets a field goal. And just enough distance, just enough for between the uh, between the bars, up there, between the uprights. And now Miami is down three nothing with three twenty three left in the half and first and ten on their own three after the touchdown. And Buffalo had a chance for an interception there, but they blew it. They did not. Uh, Miami has a second and ten at their own point. And they are heading back, and he gets a wide open punter. And hits him for a first down. So you got a first down for Miami, they're moving the ball. 312 left in the first half. It's 3 0 right. Buffalo Steel over the Miami okay. Sharks right now. They hand the ball off to Duffy up the middle and he gets some, he gets three or four yards. Second and, no, he only got two. Second and eight. Second, down. Second and eight Here's on the Miami three. Again, I'm, I'm terrible with this. Pat throws back. Well, he misses his receiver or the receiver on the ball. I think he had the receiver. So it's a third and eight, big third and eight coming up from Miami right here. Allison and shotgun. Or no, not Allison. Patton and shotgun. And he does hit his receiver, Preston. And it's fourth down. He comes up just short. What's Miami going to do? Mike 
Preston can just score it. And they're going to punt. They're going to punt and pull the ball. So Knight picks the ball. Should be Stevenson here on the return. And it is. Stevenson. Nope, none of the Miami players won in the game. And that's why he gets all the way on the third yard. So you got a first and ten on the Buffalo 29. 2.33 left. Buffalo up 3 nothing. Allison is back to pass. Over the middle, and he just, the receiver drops the ball. And I'm going to blame that. So you guys are better off watching this with me, me not controlling the team. Whatever team I would be controlling would be something. Oh, he just overthrows the receiver. See, I'd be overthrowing the receiver. Right now. now, I could practice the game. I mean, who has time? There is a practice. But then again, I'm going to coach and Allison misses his receiver on fourth. This guy, Allison, is terrible. Terrible. But anyway, um, they got fourth and ten on their 29, so obviously. They do punt in Miami. was not prepared for that. What the heck? That's, oh, no. It does roll into the end zone. Miami was lucky on that. So that back pass, and he does complete the speed. You get six or seven there. Yeah, seven. Second and three for Miami. On their 26. 207 left in the half. Patton barks out the signals, and he throws a pass that's intended for nobody that I can see. So that is an incomplete pass, and they're going to have a third and three. Let's see if they hand off to Duck. Or if they try to pass. No, they are going to try to pass, but the receiver was wide open and he dropped the ball. Expression to rock and roll up yeah. So Knight is going to punt. Tries a little coffin corner action. But Stevenson is there. And Stevenson again. That guy's knocked on his ass. So he's going to get him. So Stevenson again with a nice return. For Buffalo. Stevenson keeps putting this team in a position to get some more points, but they've only gotten three so far. With a minute 48 left. He hits uh, Mendez. Allison hits Mendez. And now they have second and four. But there's an injury on the play, and that is going to be Burnett. Burrell. Burrell. He's in. We've got a second and four on the Miami 47, so they're in Miami territory. It's just a matter of popping it in. They hand it to Price. This guy Price is not the one you want to go to. You don't want to run with him. I don't know how good he is in pass catch, but you don't want to run with him. So, uh, Allison brings him to the line, and you run with it on third and three? No, with Price? Terrible play call. I would see times like this. I wish I was I could play for it because Price would never see the light of day. He would never see the ball, that's for sure. So they got a fourth and seven on their 48. Now, as a game of field position, Miami was getting smoked. Stevens returning the ball. He gets it all he's past the 20 and he's past the 30. And he's, yeah, well. That level is 34, 30, maybe 35, 34. I run the hurt. So, and there's another injury on the play. Bryant, the center, pinched nerve in his neck. So, um, 
Jones coming up behind. Pat is going to try to lead him down the field this time. And get a score. He handed off to Duffy in the backfield. Nobody approaches Duffy until he gets a yard. So it's second and eight for Miami. A minute ten left in the half. They're in the Miami 36. Back to pass, and it is complete. It's complete for a first down. So Miami is looking like they're starting to move the ball. Maybe they're not used to the cold weather with the snow. But they flip to Herrera. Herrera in the backfield. Looked like he was going to lose a, yard, a lot of yards, but he ended up getting it. So it's going to be second and eight on the Miami 49. 48 seconds left. They've got to hurry it up if they want to slow down. So let's see what they do. They, you would think they would be passing. They're only at midfield. So they do only need a field goal to tie the game. Pat in the back pass, and it is complete to Smith. Benji Smith, is that it? No, they're going to try him. They're going to call for a measurement. I'm not sure if it's first down. They bring out the chains. Bring out the chains. And it is not a first down. It's clear. So it is third and inch in Buffalo 42. Timeout is called. And now 35 seconds left. Third and inch on Buffalo 42. Back to back pass. Has a receiver, and it is complete to Benjamin. Ben, not, not Benjamin something, it's Benjamin. When Benjamin gets a touchdown, it gives Miami the lead. Let's see if they can make the extra play. So finally, somebody breaks through. And that is going to be up and good. It is seven nothing Buffalo. Our being seven nothing Miami. Buffalo is behind seven three. They haven't been able to get anything going, and Miami hadn't been able to get anything going until right then. Stevenson with a return. Yeah, he only gets it out to twenty one. So they may be content to just go into the half down seven three and come on back out. And then you give it to Price again. This time Price gets some yards and he gets his helmet. So 15 seconds, it's counting down, second and six. It doesn't look like they have any sense of urgency. They give it to Price again. He gets back to the line. And it looks like they're going to let the... Uh, Run out. You may do. And so it's halftime, 7 to 3 at the half. You can see the yards right there. You can stop the video if you want to really look at the yards that bad. Negative 4 yards rushing for Buffalo because Price is a sorry running back, is really what the reason is. So uh, you have the Kickoff to Miami. Open the half. Stevens brings it out. Doesn't look like he's going to get a lot of yards, but they missed the tackle. He still only got it for the point of run. Not really all that. So you have a uh, first and ten for Miami on their 20. Really. Helmet knocked off. Helmet's been being knocked off left and right. Second and 13 for Miami on their 17 now. Really 17. And uh, the Buffalo defender knocked the ball. Roger Bradshaw's in the big And uh, it's third and 13 for Miami on their own 17. Back and back. Pass and missing the receiver.
just perfect. 433 left in the third. First and ten on the Buffalo Bulls. And they hand the price again. And he is just terrible. I am telling you, Price, do not hand the ball to Price. It's terrible. I understand you have to have a balanced offense. They hand the price again. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, um, yeah, now they're going to have to Allison, as much as he would hate it, and as much as he likes handing the ball to Price, for whatever reason, he is going to have to pass, and he is back to pass. And it is complete to Mendel, but they don't get the first down because they lost so many yards running the ball with Price. going to be a punt by the Buffalo Steel. Punt is away. Steven caught it right in front of the end zone for some reason and then only got it out to 14. 13. Or 12. So it's first and 10 for Miami. And it is complete to Hunter, short of first down. So they have a second and two in Miami point. Second down. Patton is going to flip it to Duffy. And Duffy's going to run it from way back in the backfield, and he breaks open. He's got some daylight. Duffy, run the ball. Nice run by Duffy. Now see, Price could take some losses from Duffy. Miami has a first down. 333 left in the third quarter. It's a first and 10 on the Miami 34. Pat and back pass. And with Stevens, he is a short of the first down by two yards. He has three yards. So there will be a second and three coming up. On the Miami 41 for Miami, the Miami Sharks. And Patton flips the ball back to Duffy again, way back in the backfield, but this time he's met at the line. This time Buffalo is having none of it. They stop him at the line, they even behind him. And so they have a 34 Miami. And uh, he flips back to Herrera, and Herrera gets met in the backfield and loses a lot of yards there. And that a terrible play call on the ground. And he should have passed the ball to the floor. Didn't hurt. No problem. Right back to the front. Stevenson with the uh, reception of the kick, and he gets the ball out to the 40. He's trying to get his team some good field position here so that they can do some damage. But when you got Allison at quarterback who is falling in love with putting the ball to Price, and you can see Price is in the back there, the 42. And uh, they give the ball to Preston. Preston is no ball. So they uh, they tried the free running back, maybe they were trying to do a wishbone or not a wishbone. Triple option. Allison's back to pass this time, realizing he's got to do that. Passes gets Mendez. And now they have a 39 because they lost all those yards on that stupid run. They got a third and nine. Allison drops back to pass. He passes into the coverage, and it is knocked away. Two eighteen left in the third quarter. It's a fourth and nine coming up. And that's going to be uh, the punt is out of bounds. So Miami will get it there on their eighteen. 
First and 10 for Miami on their 18. 212 left in the third. Keep that clock running. Keep that clock running. Oh, sorry. Patton drops oh, no. back to pass over the middle, and it's incomplete. Looked like he had his guy. So, uh, Patton flips it back to Duffy. Duffy, the, oh, Duffy is met in the backfield. The first guy missed him, but the second guy clearly did not miss him. So, they have a uh, 312 coming up. On the Miami 16. This, you know, very, this very well could be the final score. Neither one of these teams is great. And that is a knockdown at the line by the defensive line. And it is going to be four times the line. And they will punt from deep in their own end. Sorry. 56 left in the third. And that is a nice, a nice reception by Stevenson. And he gets it almost to the 30 yard line. So this is going to be a first and ten for Buffalo on the Miami 32. They're not, they couldn't ask for any better field position than this. And it is a nice pass, but it's missed. That time, I'm not going to blame Allison on that one. Or the coaching staff. It was a good play coming down. He just missed the receiver. So you got Allison bringing her hit. Bring him up to the line. And he, again, the pass was there. These receivers have to hold on to the ball. And, you know, Price is not the answer. So let's not hand the ball to Price. <laughs> he doesn't, but he misses the receiver. And it's fourth down. Let's see if they try a field goal from here. They might be able to make this. The field goal kicker made. Yeah, they're going to try to kick the field goal. He made one from this about this distance the last time. And it looks like he might make this one too. No, it falls just short. So the score is still 7 3. And Miami Sharks still maintain the 7 3 lead. We've got a first and 10 for Miami 32. And uh, Terrell runs the ball and he gets met just after the crossing the line. So it's going to be a second as well. He didn't hit the cross line. He said it's second and three on the Miami 33. So, uh, oh, they, they flip back to Duffy and he's got some, he's got an escort, but no, now he doesn't. And he gets met. Gets a yard maybe. Two yards, so it's third and eight. Third and eight for Miami. They have the seven three lead here with a minute 13. And kicking down in the third quarter. Patton back to pass. He hits the receiver. Hunter Button. First down. I'm assuming they will punt, and they do. They go back in the punt for Knight with the punt. Stevenson, I'm sure, will be the exception. He runs it up the sideline, and he gets met by the uh, Miami punt uh, return coverage. What about the 29? So you've got a first and 10 for Buffalo on their own point. 54 seconds left in the third quarter, 7 3 game. As I said, with the way these offenses are going, this could. Whoa! Price broke out! I mean, he only got three yards. But the four, but for him, that's breaking out. So, um, yeah, they got a second and six. At least that's manageable. Now, you know, you can do a little outlet pass and just look in. No! Don't flip back to Price. He's not going to do that two plays as well. Come on. 36 seconds and ticking down in the third quarter. And um, it's a third and 12 for Buffalo. Allison is back to pass, and he hits his receiver Briggs, but they're going to be short of the first down, and they've got a punt. Again, because they tried to run the ball with Price. I mean, that is not a, that's not a prescription for a uh, for, uh, good field. 
So the uh, well, and Steven brings it up. He does get met by the 2013 Buffalo, though. Pretty quick. So Miami has a first and ten on their own twenty-seven. Nine seconds left. The third quarter is nearly over. This may be the last play of the third quarter. And uh, Duffy runs the ball, but he's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. So uh, the third quarter is winding down, and that is the end of the third quarter. We're going to go to the fourth quarter with the score, Miami Sharks 7, Buffalo Steel 3. And they've got a second and 12, Miami does, on their own 25. He passes to a wide open Duffy. Wide open. But he still only gets the three. Gets six yards. Three, only three. So they got a third and seven. Or no, maybe it was more than that. I think they had, they had to get more. Second, oh, second, so third and seven here on the Miami third. Pass back to pass. And he passes right up to the line. And I don't know if that was far enough to go back. MVPs. Here's the MVP for Buckley, Stevens, on the kicker. So, Buffalo has first and ten. On their own 49, they're just about midfield now. Allison back to pass. I think they're realizing that even though Allison can't hit the broadside of the barn, with his passing, and that, that's really the way they've got to go, and they've just got to hope that they uh, get the pass. Whoa, that's going to be out of bounds. That was an out of bounds pass, and uh, so it's going to be third and ten on the Buffalo 49. Got a bad feeling they're going to hand the ball off. To no, maybe not, because I don't see him in the back. Allison is back to pass, and all wide receivers. It is complete. So they've got a fourth and eight on their real time. Seven to three game here. It's a snoozer, fans. It's a snoozer. It's close, but it's a snoozer. That was a hell of a kick. Though. Almost went into the stand. So that's going to be a touchback. And Miami brings, uh, you know, uh, Patton brings Miami up to the line, first and ten on the Miami 20. Let's see if they can move it down the field and have a score. And they he hits Hunter with a pass, but not first down. Still got a second and three. They got about three yards to get the first down. If you've been watching this game, you know three yards is a challenge for either one of these teams. 3.56 left. The snap of Patton drops back and passes into coverage, but the guy, oh! Caught it, but he, he dropped it. So that's still going to be third and three. Drop the pass. Right in his hand. I mean, I would. All right, Patton drops back. He throws, and it is complete for a first down to Benjamin. Benjamin, they're going to their old stand up. Okay, first and ten for Miami on the third quarter. Gotta get a lot of yard. And Duffy, Duffy runs it up the middle, but he gets met behind the line. So he lost yards there. It's second and twelve on the Miami. These teams are both better at going back. Miami. Pass is intercepted. The Buffalo defense is really, really trying to keep the Buffalo team in this game. But Allison and company, Allison and Price and company, just aren't having Allison drops back. He throws to Stevenson. That's their MVP. He gets a yard. But at least he got a yard. Something down. 
so with a second and uh, second and run, run. they do pass, they hand it off price and price breaks free are you kidding me price this is the biggest one anybody's had in this game and it's price that was a great call i mean miami you who would have expected so that's a touchdown for price and that puts buffalo ahead let's see if they can get the that. that puts price maybe in positive yard i'll say maybe And they do nail the extra point, so the score is 27 Buffalo. Buffalo home head here in the fourth quarter, 258. Almost uh, just over half of the fourth quarter remaining. And Buffalo goes ahead. And now, it's, now the pressure is on the Miami offense. And Stevens tries to run it out. What are you doing? You're crazy. Is he crazy insane? He is. He only gets it back to the 12. So it's 10 7, first and 10 for Miami on, on right. 12. Right. And they are going to throw the ball over the middle, complete to Hunter, and Hunter has a breakaway. He has breakaway speed, too. And that Buffalo defense is not, I don't think they're going to catch him. It. It, it's questionable that they're going to catch him in. Ooh, they do, though. It's a first down for Miami at the Buffalo 20. 19, Buffalo 19. So, uh, although it looks to me like the ball being placed on the point, what do I do? So, first and 10 for Miami, deep in Buffalo territory, near or in the red zone, and it's a completed pass, but um, it doesn't get the first down, it's a second and three. Field goal ain't gonna do it. Well, yeah, actually, a field goal will do it. field goal will tie the game. So Patton drops back to pass, has a receiver, and they knock the ball loose, and it isn't going to be a completion. So it's still, it's now third. Third down, three yards to get, 216 left, Patton back to pass, finds his receiver wide, wide open is Duffy. And so now all of a sudden, the defense is playing terrible, and the offense is And did we miss it? They, no, we didn't. It's 14 10 Now the pressure switches back to Buffalo. And they don't have a lot of time to move this ball down the field. And they can't get just the field goal. They need to fight for Stevenson with a characteristically bad return. 207 left. It's 14-10, the Miami Sharks over the Buffalo Steel. And uh, Buffalo comes to the line. Allison brings him to the line. Do not flip the ball to Price, even though he had that great run. It was the only thing he's done all day. Allison's back to pass. He has a receiver, but he bobbles the ball. So, I mean, you know, Allison had his receiver. The guy should have the ball. And they flip it back to Price. Not a good idea. No, no, it wasn't a good idea. He got back to the line. It's 30 Third and 10. Third down and 10 two minute warning and Allison this is a big play for Buffalo right here. Allison throws it and it is complete it looks like it's complete but it's still fourth down are they gonna go fourth and inches it's fourth and inches and I think they're gonna go for it and they are now, as long as they don't flip the ball to Price, they'll be all right. Allison's back to pass, and he has a wide open receiver, it looks like, and he catches it, Stevenson. What did I say about Stevenson? He's their MVP. 
They have a first down on the Buffalo 37. But they still got the time is working against them. Time is not their friend in this case. Allison takes the snap out of the shotgun. Andy does hit Stevenson again. They're moving the ball, but are they moving the ball in enough time? With a minute 27 and a minute 24 left, and it's ticking down second and four on the Buffalo 43. And a field goal isn't going to do it, and timeout is called. Time out on the field. And now it's a minute 19 left, second and four on the Buffalo 43. They need a touchdown to win the game. And Allison misses everything. So it's a minute 18 left, third and four on the Buffalo 43. You gotta imagine they're gonna go for it if they don't this. And he does hit his receiver back. So it's going to be a first down for Buffalo. They keep moving the ball, but now the time moves again. The complete pass. Minute six left. I don't know why they're waiting to snap the ball. It is a completion to Carney, but only for a yard. Second and nine on the Buffalo 47. Under a minute left now, and the Buffalo calls another timeout. Smart move. Hey. Allison's back to pass. Has a receiver, but it's knocked out of his hands. Tight end couldn't pull it in. And now you got a third and nine. 56 seconds left. You gotta know that this is too many territory. He passes and he gets it's incomplete, but it's fourth down. I would expect them to go for it here. And it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Out of the shotgun, Allison drops back the pass. Has a receiver, but it's not Duffy is just going to eat some time running around in the backfield, although he breaks free, and he is going down the sideline, and it's a fumble, but it's recovered by Miami. Benjamin recovers the fumble, and uh, there is only 40 seconds left, and they're going out of the eye for him. As well they should, and yes, they're just doing victory formation and trying to keep the clock. Second down. You try to stop me, but you're not. I'm gonna just let you know. I'm not defense. And it's just at this point, it's just a matter of snapping the ball a couple of times and uh, you know, spending as much time as you can. Keep that clock Let's go. So it looks like Miami's going to win this game, 14 to 10. 20 seconds left in the game. Time ticking down. I don't know if they even have to snap the ball. Do they have to even snap the ball again? Maybe not. Apparently not. That is it. The clock expired, and that's the end of the game with Miami winning this game. Here are the statistics of both teams, 14 to 10. And you can see it was, I mean, the passing yards, the Buffalo was way ahead, but the rushing yards, well, the rushing yards are actually Buffalo was ahead of them too, which is really strange. Although, um, Price did have a one break, one break run. So Buffalo loses at 14-10 in a close game between two uh, opponents that were not very good. And that would be it from the Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off from Buffalo.